Let's solve one previous question of graph theory. This question was asked in GATE CS 2018, question number 43. Let G be a graph with 100 factorial vertices with each vertex level by a distinct permutation of the number 1, 2 till 100. There is a edge between vertices U and V if and only if the level of u can be obtained by swapping two adjacent number in the level of v understand this line how they will be adjacent let y denote the degree of vertex in g and z denotes the number of connected component in g then y plus 10 z equals to dash so here we need to find value of y and z first y is the degree of each vertex which is same for all vertex and z is the number of connected component so in question it's given 100 factorial vertices it's too much so let me take a small example having three factorial vertices now check which vertex are adjacent so 1 2 3 and 1 3 2 these two are adjacent as by swapping 2 3 we are getting 3 2 right so there is an edge between vertices u and v if and only if the level of u can be obtained by swapping two adjacent number in the level of v so now 1 2 3 is adjacent to 2 1 3 as by swapping 1 2 we are getting 2 1 3 next 2 1 3 is adjacent to 2 3 1 we can get 2 3 1 by swapping 1 3 next 3 2 1 is adjacent to 3 1 2 we can get 1 2 by swapping 2 1 then 3 2 1 is also adjacent to 2 3 1 we can get 2 3 1 by swapping this 3 2 3 1 2 is adjacent to 1 3 2 we can get this by swapping 1 and 3 now check here all vertices degrees 2 why degrees 2 as we are swapping two pairs so in three numbers two pairs are possible that we can swap that's why degrees 2 so now in case of three factorial vertices degrees 2 so we can say degrees n minus 1 so for 100 degree will be 100 minus 1 it's 99 so here we got y as 99 so you understood how we got y equals to 99 as each vertex is connected with other vertices so there is just one connected component right so z equals to 1 we got y equals to 99 z equals to 1 now just put the value here in place of y 99 plus 10 multiplication 1 it's 99 plus 10 it's 109 so here answer is 109 this question is simple just you need to identify what is y and what is the value of z then easily you can just put the value here you will get the answer whenever there is a big number to understand the question first solve in a small number here 100 is too big right so that's why i first solve in three number then i got the idea then i apply in 100 so this is the trick for solving big numbers I already discussed graph theory just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you